Hello everyone, this is David from goldstartool.com and today uh, I'll go over how to assemble a Juki uh, Industrial Sewing Machine DU-1181N an Industrial Single Needle Walking Food Machine a very very popular machine that we assemble and we uh, sell unassembled on our website and we have a lot of requests to show you guys how it's assembled and how it's done so this is the machine the head and I'm gonna go over all the accessories that come with it uh, you're gonna get the uh, thread stand you're gonna get the cover the plastic glue on the cover all the accessories for the thread stand belt cover for the back of the machine and the front and spindles for the thread bobbin winder a knee lifter a bag of accessories that uh, couple of bobbins, needles, wrench, uh, you're gonna have the uh, the wheel and this is the LED lamp that we include in our package and all the hinges and the accessories for the table. Uh, this is what comes inside the uh, machine, inside the box for Juki. Now, we'll go ahead and show you how is the table. The table is the exact uh, copy of the uh, Juki Industrial 8700 or any other uh, single needle machine. It's K-Legs. We already assembled this machine before and you had the video. You get the rubber legs. And these are very good if uh, you live in an apartment building that you don't want the machine to be shaking and bother the neighbors downstairs. but Anyways, we have, the machine comes with brushless motors that you see up here and they're brushless that is uh, adjustable speed. Uh, and this is the tape, the motor that comes for the machine, all the accessories, cover, all the lights, and another type light uh, that comes with the machine is magnetic and goes underneath the neck of the machine. You get the oil, you get the oil pan, and uh, the control panel right here. It just quick, quick uh, view of the table. Our tables are uh, heavy duty and they are uh, rubber edged. And for your information, it's about, uh, what is this here? I'm trying to do so many things at the same time. Can I focus on that one? Yes, I think I could. Let me see that. One and one quarter, or even one and three eight uh, edge uh, rubber, very heavy. We're gonna go ahead and assemble the machine and the table, and we come uh, step by step show you how it's done. So. These are the stuff you get. Uh, you also get the uh, paperwork on the motor and also paperwork for the machine that we're gonna show you in a minute. We'll come back and show you the rest of the setup. Okay, so we're uh, up to, uh, we, we assembled the table. Again, this table is the same way as we do any regular uh, sewing machine in that here and we have a video on that. We turned it upside down so we could put in the drawer and then the brushless motor and later on I tell you why on these machines I'm putting brushless motor uh, you have to turn it upside down so you could put in the brush the motor we put in the um, uh, control box and you want to make sure that when you do it you put it on your uh, right hand side because on the left you have the uh, the drawer and then you will have it here You're on the left you have uh, on the right hand side you want to have the uh, uh, the control panel uh, line up the uh, the motor the screws uh, a tape measure and a manual screwdriver and a automatic screwdriver becomes handy here so we'll come back and uh, 
we'll uh, turn it around and we install the machine. Okay, so what we did is we installed the table and legs and the motor as we showed you. And here is the oil pan. See, as you see, this oil pan um, is the same exact size as, as the Juki DDL8700. Same identical size. This is the oil pan. Here, after you install the oil pan, which is very easy to move, you just pull it up and down. You have the uh, umbrella here. Uh, this is the oil. If you want to get rid of the oil after it's dirty, that's how you open up this. Oil goes here, low, high, inside. This is where the bobbin winder goes. This is the bobbin winder, exact same size as the 8700. Well covered, wheel, LED lamp, and the hinges in the back. Uh, what we need to do right now, we're gonna install the uh, needle positioning, and this is one of the reasons we're gonna uh, we use we are using the uh, uh, brushless motor. Uh, inside here, we have the brushless motor and brushless motor. We give you one of these lamps and it comes also with another lamp right here and all the accessories are inside the drawer uh, we'll come back and we install the LED lamp and the brushless motor uh, needle positioning and again this is one of the reasons that we're using brushless motor because you have the option of adding LED lamp direct and the uh, needle positioning system we'll come back and we'll do the rest all right, we just uh, finished installation and we are going to try the machine. Just wanted to talk to you about the, this device right here, needle positioning system, and why I choose that over the servo and I use the brushless motor and why I choose brushless over servo motor. The reason is that it could see in the back, there are many outlets for from brushless motors for different variety of uh, things that you want to do. Number one, you see this white wiring is for the LED lamp that I offer with my brushless motor. And the gray one in the back is the one that goes with the needle positioning. So if you had a servo motor, you did not have that option. So here, we have two uh, LED lamp. One is the one that we add on, and one underneath that is magnetic. You see that one? Could just come down. You see that one? Could go anywhere. Could put it up here if I want to. Could put, put it down back here. So that comes with it, and then brushless, and then the this piece right here, which called the needle positioning system. Again, I did this on many, many videos, but I think you guys feel better that I do this for every single sewing machine. Brushless panel, control panel. You turn on. Okay, here you speed higher or lower. Lower, higher, up to 45. 45 means 4,500 RPM. Okay, that's how fast. And then up here, you see the the digital are going this way, meaning that this is going front to back. If you want to change us, change it the other way. But you want this to go, this is about feeding the machine. The here you see that P with the dot and without the dot is needle positioning. And there is a sign right here that showed you. What is needle positioning? P with period means that the needle would stay down. When I'm sewing, by the way, this is a uh, one eighth, even maybe thicker piece of leather. See, when I start sewing, stop, the needle stays down. This is if you want to go ahead 
and start going to a different direction without moving the needle position. See, go down. So, whoa! See, you don't want it that fast. And the still the needle stays down. I'm gonna go ahead and make this speed lower. This is very high. Put it on, see? Oh, even that is very high. See, the needle stays down. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see, uh -huh. I want it to be, yeah. I want it to be really slow so you know what I'm doing. And people ask me, how low would brushless go? This is how slow it will go. And then the needle stays down because it needs a positioning down. See? It stays down. Now, I'll go ahead and I take that from P and I put it to P without the period. Then you'll see it stays up. I'm going to turn and go the other way. Needle stays up. Needle stays up. How do I? Let me see if I could do this. Yeah. Needle stays up. Needle stays up. Now, or you could take it out of commission, meaning it doesn't matter. Just uh, do whatever you want without P. But I like the needle to stay down. Needle positioning right here. This is the uh, stitch length from zero to nine millimeter. I have it on six. We're using T170 thread. Uh, customer that ordered the machine, he ordered some thread. That's the good uh, way and a good reason to buy your supplies from us because we don't only sell the machine, we sell all the supplies, all the hardware. We have threads and supplies. Uh, the machine is pretty much done. The customer received this assemble the way you see it. Uh, this is the uh, Juki serial number. Showed you that this is machine original. Uh, M bobbin and all the accessories are here. Um, Again, pay a lot of attention when you buy the machine. This is a very, very good quality rubber edge table. Egg legs are um, K legs, very strong. We at Gold Star Tool use only A++ quality. Uh, and we want you to know that. So the machine is ready to go. When the customer receives this, they will go, go ahead and only put in the oil. And then you'll know how much oil you have from here and everything else looks perfect ready to go thank you for watching please watch our videos on youtube like us follow and thumbs up and share our youtube channel thank you so much for watching watching this is our website goldstartool.com